All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to open up ChatGPT using Google. It's basically put in chat.openai.com to get to the website. So I'm just going to click on that. And it's going to bring me to this page right here. And it says, log in with OpenAI account. So what I want to do is I want to click here, log in, because I already have an account with them. And I set it up through Google. So I'm going to show you how to log in through Google. You're going to click here. I'm not going to put an email address in. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to come down here and hit continue with Google. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring up all my Google accounts. And I'm just going to click on the one that I've signed in with originally. All right, and it's this one here. I'm not going to show you any of these other ones. This will be blurred. But I'm going to go ahead and click there. And bam, I'm in. That's it. That's how you do it. And that's how you log in with Google. So now we're in here, and we can go ahead and put anything we want in here and ask it any question that you want to ask it. Um, over here, it's got every question that I've already, I've already done. And you can, you can go back and look at the history. But um, anyway, you can clear all the conversations here by just clicking there. You can go to dark mode if you want, or you can go to light mode. You can open up Discord, and you can look at updates, and you can log out here. And that's basically how it works. If you look here, there's examples. Explain quantum computing in simple terms. Got good? Any creative ideas for a 10-year-old's birthday? How do I make HTTP requests in JavaScript? So it gives you all these different things that you can do. It tells you the limitations. May occasionally generate incorrect information. So, you know, this doesn't check the information. It's basically a language model. And so it... Um, it basically um, interprets what you're asking it, and then it predicts what the next word should be. So it, it seems like you're talking to a person, but it's basically an logarithm that's generating the answer. And hopefully it'll be as close to what you want as possible. Like you could put in here, how to make pepperoni pizza. Right? I don't even know if I spell pepperoni right, but let's go and see what it gives us. How to make pepperoni pizza. Pizza dough sauce gives you all the stuff. It tells you how to preheat it. Roll out the pizza dough on a baking sheet. Spread out a layer of tomato sauce and dough. Uh, sprinkle the mozzarella. Arrange the pepperoni slices and the cheese. Bake the pizza for <laughs> eight, 8 to 12 minutes. To a, you got a golden crust. Allow the pizza to cool a few minutes. Uh, before slicing and enjoy. So there's a quick <laughs> a quick recipe on how to do it. Um, and you can do that with almost anything. If you didn't like that, you could uh, regenerate a, an, another response. And it you know basically does the same thing. Gives you a, just a little bit different, but kind of like the same question. This one it gave us in centigrade. It tells the inches, and, and you can do this over and over again. And um, once it's finished, you can come up here, and you can click here. Watch. And it'll go back to the original one. If you don't like that one, you can go to this one. So you can see the difference. Here it says 220. Check it out here. This one says 230. So there is some little differences that you're going to see in it. You know what I mean? But um, you have to play around with it and, you know, try to figure out what the best use for you is. But I'm just giving you an example. And that's basically how you log into it using Google and how to do a request. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Check out my other awesome videos when I show you how to do stuff with ChatGPT. Peace out.